what's up how are you guys today we haven't done a recipe video in quite a while and that's because you know although i have a lot of creative ideas they're not that simple and easy and i honestly just don't want to spend two three four five hours preparing a lot of this stuff every time so if you guys do have an idea for something that's simple creative preferably meat based maybe you can let me know and i'll try to make my quality version of it today we're doing something that i've had an idea for a few months now I was looking for stuff to add variety to my diet. I saw a few bean dips at the supermarket and wasn't a fan of the ingredient list. So I came up with this stuff. This is a white bean onion garlic dip that you could use for anything, whether it's bread, tortillas, chips, vegetables. Let's see how it turns out. As usual, guys, everything is organic. And the reason we do that is to remove as many herbicides, pesticides, those agrochemicals we don't want in our food. Of course, there's still always downsides, you know, the can lining, the plastic, but this is about as good as the average person can get. So earlier, I sauteed up uh, two whole onions and about five cloves of garlic. Got a little bit of browning. You know, if you want to go crazy, you can really caramelize these, but um, if you don't want to do this, you can probably just use onion and garlic powder, although I don't think it will turn out as well. Uh, so we're going to throw that in the food processor. So normally you'll see black beans used in a bean dip and those aren't as good for you as white beans. You know, the black are higher in anti-nutrients. Uh, I've tried the cannellini beans as well as the butter beans and I think these are gonna give this a much better texture. They're a bit firmer so when we blend this up, it'll have like a nice creaminess to it. So I'm gonna strain out uh, two cans of the Bio Italia organic butter beans. So just in the strainer and then I like to just rinse them with a little bit of bottled water, nothing too crazy. Now this is a bean dip, so we want the majority of this to be beans for the fiber content, the gut motility, the texture, and the flavor. So for some added fat and texture, even more creaminess, I have this organic heavy coconut cream. I think you could just use any sort of coconut milk product, even coconut oil, wherever you have that's organic and high quality. And this is, uh, this is really nice and thick, so that's why I like this. There's also a condensed coconut cream, which might not be a bad idea, even if it's a little sweet. So we'll just do about two big tablespoons of that. Just a pinch of organic sugar. I've seen uh, sugar is an ingredient in some of these bean dips. And then we'll squeeze in some lemon juice, just a bit of acidity and freshness. So that was kind of the basic stuff. Now my little twist to this is adding some of Frankie's steak seasoning, which is mushroom, garlic, and onion. So that's gonna kind of reinforce the mushroom and garlic flavors we put in there. Add a little bit of salt, some more seasoning, a little bit of pepper. We have our rose salt, which we will add about a teaspoon of because we need to season this. Now something to add a lot of amino acids, a lot of nutrition. This is the collagen broth we have on Frankie's syringe meat. This was the main reason I wanted to do this recipe, a very unique idea. Add this gelatinous mixture to it, add a lot of nutrition. That might be a bit too much liquid. If this was cold, the gelatin will set up. So it's a little bit liquidy, so I would go lighter on the broth and definitely let this set up in the fridge. Uh, it'll get a lot solider, become more solid. So we just got some bread and the bean dip. All right, let's see how this is. This is pretty delicious. This is pretty good, guys. Now what's nice about this is I can have this every day in my current diet. I knew the ingredients would be okay for me to eat. I just wasn't sure how good it was going to be, but this is very good. The, uh, the fresh caramelized garlic in here is really nice. I mean, you could have this as a soup. It's that good. Very delicious. Very, very delicious, amazing guys. I really, really like this. If I had my own kitchen at my business, I would definitely start making stuff like this and selling it. I've always wanted some type of like Italian deli setup. I just don't have the logistics and time for this. But in the meantime, grab some bread, make this dip, get some water kefir from Frankie's Ranch Foods and you will feel really, really good and enjoy eating this. Uh, it's a nice thing to have before dinner. You don't have a ton of steak in your stomach which can make uh, sleeping hard for some people and slow down digestion but depending on how much collagen broth you put in there, that does add some amino acids. And as I said earlier, guys, if you put this in the fridge, it, it will firm up a lot and you have more of like 
a dip. This is kind of soupy right now, but I'm not that patient. I'm not waiting for tomorrow to show you guys this. So thank you guys for joining me today. You can check out frank com to see all the products we have on the meat website and support me through all of my businesses. Outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.